Randy are ready to rock and roll. You rolling? Yeah. Are you ready? Ready to rock and roll. Nervous as shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was particularly impressed with what you're doing on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So just explain to us a little bit about your strategy and you've got a few profiles, haven't you? I've got more, yeah, quite a few profiles, probably about a million altogether, um, wow. following altogether. So for, so what we did was, um, it's about giving value. I feel like when you have another account that gives a lot of value. So because my, my product is in the beauty industry, I would go and create a makeup account so that you know you're helping influencers to grow their their following and also grow your own like build a credibility for your own business as well as giving them value and um, encouraging other influencers to work with other influencers mm. so um, that's um at makeup xyx so you guys can check it out <laughs> check it out yeah it's a yeah. great example of, of how you can grow an instagram account and, and add a lot of value um, I was very impressed, you know, when I had a look at what you're doing on Instagram in particular, and even in SEO. I mean, some of the search phrases that you're showing up for. Mm. You're so, like Rihanna. Rihanna Eye Color, um, <laughs> Kylie Jenner. So, we're always on top. Um, again, it's like giving content information and educating people. Exactly Not yeah. just like exchanging one for one, like money and then, yeah. um, and then money, time for money. But we give value, a lot of value, over deliver yeah. the value, I think. Yeah. And you've done a huge amount of personal development as well. I know you do a lot of John D. Martini. What, what other uh, personal development programs have you done? You've seen Gary V. What else? I feel like with business, you need to, you get so overwhelmed with everything. Like you, you stress out over the little thing. Like you can't miss out. Like say if you're really good at marketing, you really enjoy it and you put all your time in marketing, you're like, oh, I forgot my numbers. So then you got to really cover all bases and know where your flaws are. And when you know where your flaws are and being aware, being self-aware is really good. Um, being Knowing where, what you're good at, knowing what you, you suck at, um, and then figuring it out how to find solutions to cover that base. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, we, were, uh, we were talking to Jules about this the other day from Tribe and he was telling us it's all about knowing what your strengths and weaknesses are and, and playing to your strengths. And being aware, like being... I think, so I love learning about John Martini's work, um, I think it's amazing. Um, I, I managed to overcome anxiety and stress and you know like you get so clouded and you get so worn out um, but to be able to master your mind, I think that's a powerful thing for everything like um, in business for me, determination um, is the biggest one for me. Determination gets you through anything so my, I would say motto um, is I'll figure it out like if an obstacle like or challenges arises I would be like you know what I can figure this out and having that attitude like no matter what you can figure a way you always find a way and when you say that to yourself when you say oh um, I can figure this out how can I do it so the questions that you ask yourself is the answer that life's gonna go back at you if you're gonna sit there and go oh I wonder why this ain't working like you know well because you're asking the question so then people uh, like life will throw you the reason why you're not working why it's not working so um, where you focus your energy what questions you ask yourself and being aware and picking up like hey it's okay to suck at something but you can keep working on it and um, improving every single time you know what yesterday I'm, I'm better than yesterday and then you know and I think starting for that base having that mentality really yeah just gets you through a lot of things yeah. So talk to me talk to me about the future and digital marketing um, so I think for uh, so I'm really excited about digital marketing because you're able to reach millions and millions of people in the comfort of your own home or in an office um, and that's really exciting in a sense where like if you're running a business now you have that as a tool like you can reach Google and the algorithm on Facebook like they can target so specifically on the action that you do online so you, like every action is monitored through Facebook through WhatsApp so they have so much data that you you have that as a tool of marketing and to your advantage in business so I yeah. like quite excited about that and and you get to like connect with celebrities like we get to work with really high-end bloggers that you see in Mecca, like the models, you're like, oh, I've worked with her before. And then you get to like work with celebrities, which is pretty fun. That's yeah, exciting. Yeah. Yeah, and if you could be a superhero, 
who would you be and why? So I thought about this question actually. Um, so I don't watch TV because I spend so much time working. Um, if I was to be a superhero, I would be the best version of myself because that's all I have. And so super yen with a cape. <laughs> that's an awesome answer. Yen, it's been a pleasure to have you on the series. Um, if you enjoyed uh, watching the episode, don't forget to like, comment, share, uh, follow Yen. At ja uh, Yen Japney on Instagram. On, on Instagram and on LinkedIn. I don't know if you're as active on LinkedIn as you are on Instagram. I only did one video and yeah. I love that video by the way. Maybe we'll drop the link in the comments. Yeah. Okay. See you See next y week. Oh, that's